Pisces, let's jump into your reading for today. We're going to see what they would say if they drunk dialed you. Guys, if you need anything, check out that description. All you have to do is click the title of the video to get you there. My manifestation course is out if you want to check that out. A lot of um, information is packed in that course as well as my tarot course, my booking information. Everything that I have to offer. Merch is also out if you guys want to check it out. My sayings, logo, whatever kind of merch you want, it should be down there. So, what would they say if they drunk dialed you? The first thing that come out as soon as I started getting into this energy is that this person's taking a moment back from everyone. So, I feel like right now, you know, this is, especially in the U.S., I'm not sure about other countries, but usually this is a time of of spending money on others, spending time with others, you know, going to see family, having those get-together dinners where you exchange gifts. Things like that are starting to happen. And I feel like there's a strong energy of this person doing the complete opposite. Feeling like they need to repress their self from other people right now. Feeling drained. It's interesting, I just heard, I just want to hear you say I love you. Feeling like that would be something that would fuel them up, that would give them energy. They've been depriving their self of energy. For a lot of you, they've been observing you from a distance, trying to keep tabs on you. For some of you, they are successfully keeping tabs on you. And if they're not having the ability to do it, they're feeling a little stressed out. It's so interesting because I'm feeling this strong feeling of like if you said, this is the energy they want to be in. And I feel like the energy they want to be in and the energy that they're in has been completely different. But the energy that they want to be in is an energy of <laughs> when you move, I move. When you profess your love to me, I want to be able to do that back. An energy of when you say, I love you, I want to be able to look at you and say, but I love you more. They want to be able to match your energy, feeling like you understand them. You're soft, you're sweet, you're compassionate, you're giving. I'm laughing because I heard when you want to be. So this person definitely recognizes that you have boundaries. You have self-worth. What would they say to you if they called you? Go the distance. Feeling like it's time for them to take action towards you. You know, again, we've had this repetitive story of not taking action, not having the strength, not having the courage. We get close to the finish line, we back up a few steps, feeling like it was a never ending, constantly losing battle. But there's something here where it's like, I do want to go the distance. I'm now seeing the finish line. I'm starting to see, why do I want to say the possibility where at once this person didn't feel a possibility, feeling like it's time to go in a different direction. I don't know. It's like this person's life, the way that they've been living, the life that they've wanted is a lot more stressful than what I think they assumed it to be. Love can be one of the best things you open yourself up to as long as the person you're opening yourself up to is safe, is compassionate has the ability to open up with communication and to put their self in your shoes. Because that is what a relationship is, is nurturing one another, understanding one another, having one another's back. And I feel like for so long, this person didn't want to do that, didn't want to be that. Yes, look what's on the bottom, new life. That's what I'm saying. Feeling like maybe you, you, I'm starting to get all tore up. Feeling like you breathed a fresh of breath in their direction that gave them the courage, the ability to see a new life. But I, again, it's like, mm, I can't put my finger on it. Mending, 
Let's see what the other one is. Exchanging gifts. So with this coming out, something could happen near a holiday. This person could want to come towards you. For some of you with go the distance, I'm getting significant travel. Wanting to mend this. Wanting to maybe bring you a gift. You know, this cat's really playful. It's interesting, though, because I also heard, but we also know how cats are. They're the kind of energy where it's, when I want attention, I want attention. And if not, don't touch me. Don't come near me. At least that's how my cat was. Very sassy. Very opinionated. And maybe that's your energy or theirs. And someone's taming that. Because I feel like whoever's energy that's been has been a defense, defense mechanism. Yeah, I'm saying it right. Okay, yeah. I feel like it's been a way for them to kind of protect their self, not realizing that all along they've wanted to go the distance. They've wanted to show up, show you. But they also feel like you're the gift. The gift of them coming out of their shell, wanting to be that playful energy again. There's a lot here to do with eye level. I keep seeing people in my third eye, eye level. So there's something to do with eye level. You could be the same height. I don't, that doesn't have to be true. I just feel like you guys see one another. And that's what it does, it, that's what it takes for a connection is to see one another and say, I will pick you time and time and time again. Happy, happy, happy. Yeah, never ending story. Feeling like this is never going to end. Feeling like it shouldn't end. They also feel like you could heal parts of their inner child that they didn't even know need to be healed. You know, again, this sweet, compassionate, you're, you're not pushy, you're not... Do we see all of this energy? A lot of it's soft until the end. And then that's a lot of fire. That's a lot of passion. That's this whole forest being burned down. So a new forest, a new life, a new way of coming together can be approached. But I feel like it took this person realizing, I need to go the distance. I need to show you. I need to exchange gifts. You know, when you do want someone and you care for someone, you're going to call them. You're going to show up. We don't just expect someone to do for us constantly. And I feel like maybe this person at one point did expect a lot from you because they liked the way you made them feel. Again, they liked feeling seen by you. But now, especially as I moved this card, we see her looking up at the sky. So there is definite energy here of you being maybe distracted, changing your t attention, changing your point of view, no longer looking at them or focusing on them at one point where maybe you did at one point. Giving them the ability to heal their inner child. To recognize that you are what makes their inner child happy. Those are some of the best connections when you can come together and heal each other's inner child and say, you know, it's, it's okay to be goofy. It's okay to be your worst self because I'm going to look at you and say, okay, no, we can't do that. That is what a partner is, is calling each other out and saying, it's okay for you to call me out because I feel safe enough to know that you're not trying to knock me down. You're not trying to be manipulative. You're telling me this about myself because maybe it really is an issue. Maybe I need to go look in the mirror. And maybe at one point this person was like, oh, Pisces is judging me or Pisces will judge me or, you know, Pisces can see me and I don't know how I feel about that. I don't even have to say a word and you can just see right through me like I'm a ghost. What is happening? That can be very, very scary. It can also make you heal. Oh, did we hear me whistle? That was interesting. So how is this person at this exact moment viewing you? This person that's wanting to hit you up, viewing you as something that's a little out of reach with the star. J yeah, as I said, that a little out of reach. Unsure. If they speak their truth here with this moon, will it change the outcome that we have now? <clears throat> Will it change the future? Feeling hopeful, feeling like you are a sense of a wish, a dream. But again, feeling like you could be a little out of reach. I'm seeing the initials N. I'm seeing the initial D and C. A lot of you are seeing this person's name. Seeing things that remind you of this person over and over and over again. A lot of you have gotten very numb to it because it's happened so much. And I feel like that's what's had to happen for us to get here. 
But what you've been picking up on is this person's energy. That's that moon energy. I've not spoken a lot of truth. There's a lot of things you don't know. This could be secrets. This could be feelings, emotions. But one thing you might not know is how this person views you. You know, again, you could view this person as you didn't want to go the distance. You didn't want me. You seen me as someone who was fun, who was playful, who was a good time. But maybe you didn't see me as long term. That's that moon. That's a lot of things that you don't know. A lot of things that are unseen. You're not recognizing that this person's focus is on you. Because they're wanting to renew something. Start fresh. Start new. Feeling indecisive though. Because you know when I do come in and I speak my truth. I speak my clarity. I speak all of the unspoken. Whether it's good, it's bad, it's ugly. You know I might have you laughing and crying within the same 30 minutes Pisces. And that can make it or break it. For each of you, the conversation is going to be different. So I feel like that's the back and forth energy. You know, I view you as something that's so amazing, but I also know, yeah, maybe tired of doing a lot of self-reflection on it. So this person's definitely been, again, we've seen it in readings, self-reflecting, taking a step back. We said it at the beginning of the reading. They're detaching from a lot of people. And the reason they're doing that is because they feel like they need clarity now more than ever. If their clock isn't running out or hasn't already ran out, it's getting pretty dabbling close. At least that's how this person's feeling. And there's chaos brewing inside of that. Feeling like now more than ever, like this is an energy of, okay, I need to go the distance. You're telling me that I'm going to have to go rent a home to come see you, rent a car, take a plane to come. Like I'm going to have to do all the things and it might cost me a good chunk of change. But it's fine. This is an investment. I'm going to do it. This is worth it. Like, that's what I'm seeing when it's go the distance. This person is now viewing you as a sense of an investment. So, anything that they put towards you, in you, it's investment worthy. You're investment worthy. Feeling like their heart is very lonely and that it calls for you at night. I feel like I'm going to cry. This person could really like dancing. But it's interesting, what I'm seeing is someone, I'm not seeing like a professional dancer. I'm seeing something like, you know, we're, we're cooking in the kitchen, I'm telling you about my day, and the next thing you know, we're just laughing and doing slow dancing in the kitchen together. Like, that's the kind of energy I'm getting here. Not like a major, let's go salsa, which they could, but I feel like it's more of a, let's make those memories together. I want to choose what's going to make me happy. And maybe I'm just recognizing that I've been not, I've not been choosing that. I've been choosing what's fun, what's fast, what's easy. Tired of doing reflection. Tired of thinking about it. How are they viewing you? Someone who's tired of maybe fighting for this. Someone who's offered something at some point. They could view you as someone who gave them a, mess, a, a message, a message of bad news or a message of truth. Again, the emperor in the reverse can mean something as simple as, I'm done with this. You know, I've tried to be strong. I've tried to show you. I've tried to show up. I've tried to protect you. I've tried to remain a little bit in control of the situation to let you know that I'm here. But I'm also at a point where I'm not going to beat a door down when you're going to continue to add locks on the other side of it. I'm wasting my time. I'm wasting my breath. I'm wasting my energy. Interesting. It's interesting because I also heard a lot of self-reflection on your part showed you how out of control this situation was and how you would never get control of it. There was no no way that you were going to get this person to understand, to see, to get your perspective, to see your worth. There was no looking at this person and just saying, but listen, can I please just have this conversation with you to make you maybe see this differently, see us differently? There was none of that. You, you seen it as, you know, I... I I was going to be wasting my time. So they see you as completely letting this go, even if you haven't. So how are they feeling towards you? Let's get a different deck because why not? Interesting. I'm hearing that Hillary Duff song, Why Not? 
take a crazy chance. Why not do a crazy dance? Yeah. And it's interesting how I'm saying that and the fool was staying on the bottom as I was shuffling. Now, how appropriate is that song for the fool? Wanting to take a chance, wanting to take a leap. There is a possibility that they've missed their opportunity. They recognize that. I just heard that. Okay, how are they feeling towards you? Whoa. There's a very sweet energy here. Feeling like they can open up and be vulnerable to you. A lot of reflection on this as well. A lot of reflection on the people that have hurt them, the situations that they put themselves into that didn't serve them. Okay, you're different, period, point blank. You're different. And I, this person didn't want to see it, but they're starting to see it. You're different. I want to protect you. You know, when we're sitting down in a restaurant and someone comes at you and has something smart to say, I want to be the one that can jump up and say, hey, you better back up. You better back up or we're going to have a problem. Like, that's how this person wants their energy to be when it comes towards you. Now, listen, it does not matter if you are male or female. That can pertain to anyone. Some of us are very, very feisty, especially when it comes to people that we love. And I feel like that's how this person's energy is. Maybe at one point, this person got put down for letting parts of them come out like that, that protective part of them. But there's something here where I feel like you would understand it. You would see it as like, okay, I, I get that. I respect that. You felt like that was a situation where our boundaries were being crossed or where we were not being thought of at that moment and you felt like you needed to stand up and, and and say some things. I really like that. There's a sense here of respecting one another, seeing that a cycle truly has been completed with one another, feeling very stable. Again, I've been saying it this whole reading that this is a very calming connection. This isn't a connection where there's a lot of aggression, a lot of tension, a lot of water under the bridge. So if you're going to put in the comments, well, I hope he chokes on his chicken leg while he's eating tonight, or I hope she breaks her nail today while she's at work, this probably isn't your reading. Because again, there's recognition here of we both will go the right distance for the right person, but maybe Pisces you really went for this person and you really went hard when it was too soon, too early. And maybe that was something you needed to learn, you know? But feeling like they want to provide for you. Feeling like you are a sense in a, a guilty pleasure, which does worry them. You know, you want to be with someone or married to someone that is a guilty pleasure, that, that makes you really excited, that makes you feel understood and cared for, but that also makes you feel tingly on the inside whenever you see them come around the corner. But there is a part of them that it, it worries me that every time I see your name come up on my phone or I see you on Snapchat, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, whatever, my stomach gets butterflies and that worries me because the last time that that happened, I was in a connection that was damaging, okay? That's how this person's feeling. So there's a sense here of like, is this a warning? And I feel like that's what's held them back. Again, because it's interesting, on this King of Pentacles, and I've never noticed this. Let me see if I can show you. He's got armor, but only on his foot. Kind of like he's turning from the King of Swords to the King of Pentacles. You know, I'm going from being very practical, logical, making sure I'm protecting myself to saying, okay, maybe I've been a little overly protective. Maybe I can trust you. Maybe I've been able to trust you all along, but I've had blockages. I've had fears. I've had thoughts. Well, maybe you're like other people. Maybe you're just like the rest. Maybe you really don't care. Maybe you're here to use me. All of those fears have gone out the window. Recognizing that you are a sense I'm going to say it again, a cycle completed. Feeling like you have them wrapped around your finger. That's interesting. Somebody could like to burn candles. Yeah. And again, there's a lot here. This is the feelings. This is the emotion. And the moon keeps coming up. You not knowing how they feel. You not knowing their heart space. You not understanding that they feel like you guys are cut from the same cloth. They feel like when you look at the stars at night, they're looking at the same star because you guys are that connected. 
This is not something I would ever say, so I'm going to go ahead and put that disclaimer right here. But I just heard someone say, yeah, it's that fairy tale kind of love. Like, and that's not something I would say ever, ever, but maybe you felt that at one point. Maybe now this person's feeling that. They felt like you, someone here wanted somebody to prove something to them. And the other person was like, I'm not proving crap. We can get down to the nitty gritty and in the time, you will see that I've got you. Or be gone. They choose their comfort zone, but they quickly realize that their comfort zone was no, no longer comfortable because you were their new normal. The way that you made them feel, it was hard to come back from that. The happiness, the joy, the love, the compassion, the way that you would look at them, it's hard to come back from that, y'all. I mean, how do you go from a beachy, sunny day to going to a rainy day in Ireland? I mean, that's complete difference. And that's what happened here, day and night. Somebody could listen to that song. How do they view this connection? They view this connection as something that's very giving, compassionate, full of emotion. And maybe you both get overwhelmed when it has to do with emotion. This person feels that you still have some love for them, but maybe not as much love as you used to have. Feeling like this kind of love is something that they've waited on, but maybe they couldn't accept the offer. They couldn't notice the offer. Again, strong energy of maybe being discontent or bored or not healed, not recognizing something. Seeing you as someone who was really fun, good to look at, attractive, but not understanding maybe the longevity you had. This person underestimated your staying power, Pisces. There's something about you showing up as a fire sign. You know, when they seen you, they were like, oh, this is the life of the party. This is the kind of person who comes in, demands attention without wanting attention. You make everyone laugh. You understand everybody. And then when you leave, everybody's like, wait, where's Pisces at? Is Pisces coming in today? Has anybody seen Pisces? But to them, it was 10 times worse because there was this connection. There was this emotion. There was this love. There was this chemistry understanding there's something here where this person needed to understand that there wasn't a missed opportunity that everything works out the way that it needs to they felt like they had completely wasted time with you they kept that to their self they always have not understanding why they couldn't be what you needed them to be not recognizing it wasn't the right time i feel like they're starting to recognize it wasn't the right time um but now there's a fear you know have you moved on so, what do we say to that? They say, get your butt in there and fight for it if you want something. Yeah, get out of your head. Quit having anxiety. Quit having fear. So, they're telling this person, yeah, you need to go in and get some sort of wish fulfillment. Maybe feeling scared. This person wants to communicate. This person wants to reach out. Maybe flirt, talk. Okay, I, I heard that this person wants to sweet talk you, but they're not sure even how to open the message up. You know, how do I text you, Pisces, and go, hey, babe, hey, good looking. What you got cooking? What, what's been going on? Like, that's corny as hell. Are you going to text back? Wanting to message you, feeling burdened. So they're trying to ignore that. They've been resting, maybe taking a few days off from work. They could be tired, exhausted. Really going over, right now they're doing a lot of self-reflection. You know, I've went this far in my life and this is where it's got me. What choices has led me here? And how is Pisces different? Um, again, there's been a lot of anxiety, staying in their head, worrying, but they're telling them at the end of the day, if you want something, you have to go fight for it. And the way that you think about this connection or the way that they do is just so loving and caring and giving and compassionate that I just don't understand why they don't think that you would be open. I do think for some of you, they could be scared that your view would be like, well, why are you coming back? Are you wanting a wish fulfillment? Is this like a one night thing? Are you coming in to see if I'm still interested? So your ego can be stroked. Where are you getting at with this action? Like, that's kind of your energy, which could be why they're not coming towards you right this moment. Again, you know, if we haven't talked in years and I come in and go, hey, you're looking really good. I just wanted to see how you've been. And then I ask you out or I'm like, hey, let's get together. 
you could definitely text me back and go, but what's your intentions? What, why are you taking this action? Where do you think this is going to go? Are we seeing each other because it's near a holiday and you, you ain't seen me in 15 years? Or is it because you're here to stay? So that could be an issue as well. Then feeling like you're going to cut to the point, which I feel like is good. How do they feel about that? How do they feel about the fact that they're wanting passion? They're wanting spark. They're wanting that creativity back. They don't really want to talk too much about like investments. They do want to talk about emotion. They want to be honest about how they're feeling. Here's the thing. This person doesn't want you guys to see each other for the first time again. And you look at them and go, okay, so are we getting married? Like, that's kind of their energy. Okay, hold on a second. Let's not talk about like investment or sharing money or getting a car together. Let's talk about how we feel for one another. Let's talk about how much passion and chemistry we have and how we can't keep our hands off one another. It's like this person wants to start this over again. Um, I'm hearing from that song from the ground up. I'm also hearing that song Speechless. That's interesting that both of those are coming up from the same band. Feeling like you leave them speechless, but also feeling like they don't want to jump the gun and, and come in and say, yes, I'm going to give you the world because I can't tell you what the future holds. What I can do, though, is come in and say, you know, I feel a certain type of way about you. And yes, when you entertain somebody else or when somebody else is looking your way, it does kind of make me mad. It makes me jealous. And that's because, again, I'm feeling some type of way. I feel like there's chemistry here. I feel like I'm really attracted to you and you're really attracted to me. That's the kind of conversation here that they're wanting to have. Okay? So, opening up to one another. But wanting to be honest. Yeah, feeling hopeful. They could definitely tell you as well in this conversation, but I am hopeful for our future. When I think of the future, I, I picture you in it. So, I mean, that's amazing. So, holding back from communicating with you because they're a little worried. But there's a part of them, their, their higher self knows that you are going to be really nice. And say, hey, what's up? Like, you want to talk? You want to see each other? What What's going on? What? But you could... Yeah, I, I'm hearing that song, No, You Can't Control Yourself Any Longer. Feeling like they can't control their self much longer. Holding back from you. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I'm getting very uncomfortable. I'm getting very anxious. The chaser, not wanting to chase. Neither one of you is wanting to chase. But at one at one point, you could have definitely got love bombed in, in this connection. It could have been one-sided. You could have had to give up on it then. Yep, separation, as I just said that. Sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning but unsure of the future. Feeling like this connection has had its ups and downs, but feeling like it's still beautiful. Feeling like there's still something to save from it. Because again, you still make me happy. At the end of the day, when you can go through hardships and come back better than ever and still look at one another and say, I choose you, that is the ultimate connection. A lot of people do not do that in this world. And I feel like it's just recognizing that you're that top A person. You are that ride or die, I got you, but can we get some tater chips and don't get me, I don't want to go to jail, kind of rider. But I feel like this person could have been so scared of having a rider because at one point they thought somebody was in their corner and they quickly realized it wasn't. The runner, what did I just say? Fear of intimacy, listening to their ego, but deciding to start making healthy choices. Wanting love, wanting to be happier. They could definitely talk about a union. Again, I'm hopeful for the future. When I envision our future, I envision you. But please, let's not talk about getting married or sharing assets. Like that's, there's something to do with that that makes my stomach curl. And I don't know why. That's, that's what I'm getting off this reading. It's When it comes to investments, do we hear how I'm starting to stutter? When it comes to investing... It makes me uncomfortable, and that's what I'm getting from this reading. So, definite first conversation is going to be a lot about how we're feeling, passion, chemistry, but we ain't going to be talking about a year out. We're going to keep it 
light. Yeah, light. You know, we're going to make it known that I see a future with you. I want you, you want me. But we ain't going to be signing on the dotted line on the first date. Like, that's kind of what I'm getting. Yeah, healing from a heartbreak. This person could be getting free from some sort of toxic relationship that was holding them back or some sort of addiction. Now, a toxic relationship can be any person, place, thing, mindset that keeps them from you. Transcending, getting past obstacles, going to a new phase, preparing for a union. Have faith, love is coming. You're going to get a surprise invitation. This person's at a point right now where they're hesitating. You're either going to get a surprise invitation or a meeting that you don't see coming up. There could be another person watching you. Another person who could have tried to keep you guys separate. This person could be watching, looking, stalking. This person could have also had a tendency of gaslighting you. This person could have seen you as some sense of competition. Um, for some of you, this was like another person that was trying to either get them, get in the way. This could mean anything. This could be a friend. This can mean anything. But it's like there's something here that's just going to come together. Against hell and high water, this connection's coming together. It doesn't matter who likes it. That's what I'm getting. Definitely going to be meeting, conversing, savoring the moment, talking about maybe some sense of separation or hurt or sadness. Somebody could also talk about how they felt lost. Oh, I just heard I've, I wanted to reach out multiple times, but I just held myself back. So someone could literally say that word for word. Um, let's do soulmates and separation, and then I think we're going to wrap this baby up. So, definitely going to a new phase, preparing for this connection. But, you know, we've seen a lot of things going on behind the scenes. So, maybe there's other people that know about you, know about this connection. There are some people that do not like you and this person together. Like, I don't want, no, no, I'm not okay with that. That's the energy I'm getting. But that could be that toxic relationship. Getting free from that. Somebody could have wanted to keep them in a heartbroken state. What do I mean by that? There are some family, friends, acquaintances, people in our lives who want to keep us sad, disappointed, stuck. Thinking about the past because that's the energy that they're in. And I feel like this person could have had someone in their environment like that. I carry guilt for the way that I mistreated you. We've both changed a great deal. I fear you've moved on. I've not given up on you even though it seems like it. I wish I could have loved you the way that you deserved to be loved. Wanting to get this back on track, but again, wanting to start from the beginning. Wanting to dry out the water from under the bridge and start fresh. That's so interesting. I've never said that. What else would they say to you right now if they called you? So they would say, I carry guilt for how I treated you. We've both changed a ton. And you know, maybe that's another reason. Something to do with strength. Making a decision to come in and invest. Planning for the future, feeling stuck, feeling like they want to reach out and bring change and transformation, but they're waiting for the right time. Feeling like you've turned your back on this and maybe you're searching for new love or some sort of new connection. Feeling really burdened by that. Yeah, it really fucking heartbreaks them to the fact that you could definitely be getting other people. There could be something here as well. You remember me saying that they could have shown up as like the swords suit? Again, remaining practical, logical. At one point, they could have chose giving to some sense of investment. Something that they could have fought for that could have not been worth fighting for. They could have got a lot of truth and clarity on where their heart, where their dreams actually lie. So here's the thing. You know, sometimes in life, we will really put our energy, our time, and our effort into maybe connections or jobs or something like that. And then we realize it's not worth it. And I feel like that's kind of what's happened with this person is they quickly realized that everything they were giving their energy, their, their attention, their time to wasn't there to stay. There was no staying power or it was draining them. And, you know, it's so interesting because we had said in this reading that they felt like you didn't have staying power. But I feel like what they're realizing more than ever is their fear come true. They manifested their fear, their fear in their life, but it was through other people, other people backstabbing them, other people holding them back, other people 
doing those things to them that they were so scared you were going to do. But it was because this connection was so, it's because this connection is so deep, is so loving, that it would be a lot, a lot harder for them to get over losing you for good. Okay. And it's so interesting because I feel like it's in their mind, no matter the time, no matter the distance has always been, but no, we'll come back together. We'll come back together. We've always been in that cycle. You know, we've seen each other in school and then when we went to college, we've seen each other. And then when we had kids, we've seen each other. I mean, we've always had this cycle of just kind of coming back to one another. So yeah, 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 I'm going to see them again. But maybe not recognizing that those opportunities are given to us for us to take a chance on something that maybe we want, maybe we're feeling pulled to. And those opportunities only come so many times before someone changes their mind, changes their direction, or before their journey is completely over. Feeling like they've learned a lot in this connection. Feeling like they've learned a lot about what would make a healthy connection, why they ran, why they again have had so much fear. Again, I'm seeing the moon and guilt. So having a lot of guilt, having a lot of remorse, having a lot of shame. You know, it's really hard to come up to someone and say, the person I thought that you were is not the person you are at all. I really did question your values, your morals, who you were as an individual. I'm really sorry that I did that. That takes up a hell of a person to, to apologize to that extent. And I feel like that's kind of what this person's going to have to do. They questioned you as a person all the way around. Not seeing your worth, not seeing your value, not understanding until it was too late. But now seeing that you... Okay, I heard you were used by them in some way. So, you know, maybe you haven't wanted to see it, but this person could have definitely used you. Maybe emotionally, you stroked their ego. There was something here where this person didn't give to you. And that's okay. That's why when they think of you, they think of that very loving, caring, giving, nurturing person. That's why when they think of you, there's so much happiness and joy. Because you gave this person what they needed at that time. But wanting to come in and tell you all the things that have been unspoken. What is that? Whoa! Whoa! Did we see that? Wanting to communicate that they feel exactly how you feel. That they do feel this love. That they do feel... They feel like you're either a soulmate or a twin flame. They feel this deep pull, this deep connection. They can't explain it. They see you so differently than everyone else. Everybody that they meet... They compare to you. You know, even the people that remind me of you, I compare. I'm like, well, Pisces wouldn't say it like that. Well, Pisces would have done this. Well, Pisces would have done this. That's not normal. That's not normal. Feeling like they want to be up front. I just heard for once. I want to cut through the bullshit and tell you how I feel. See, and it's interesting because we see this two of cups. There's a house in the far, far back. Do you remember me saying this person doesn't want to talk about that? That's in the far, far, far future. But right now, let's get on the same page. I want you. You want me. Let's balance this out. The devil. I can't get over you. You can't get over me. There could be something you guys are going to have to get through that could be overwhelming, toxic, or a pain in the butt. But ultimately, I see some sense of balance here happening. Even if it's just this conversation, even if it's just this person needing to come in and say, hey, you know, you've given me truth, you've given me clarity, and it's time for me to do the same. That doesn't mean that you have to um, be with this person. Having the strength to maybe come in and ask for some sense of forgiveness. This person could be really feeling at a loss when it comes to maybe their money, feeling like they're having to work a ton, feeling like, yeah, this person could be working a lot as well, like really working. There's also something here where they look up to you for being very honest and courageous. You know, you have always trusted that when you were vulnerable with this person, it would pay off. Even if you didn't see the rewards of that vulnerability right then. And it does. It does. When someone takes our vulnerability lightly, 
that's on them. And, and it comes back. There's going to be a time when they're sitting in their bed or on their couch and they're like, oh my God. I remember that time that so-and-so was really honest and vulnerable in the way that I reacted. What a crappy human am I? Things like that do come back. And a lot of you don't think that it does, but it does. And it comes back when you least expect it. And sometimes it can come back from the people that we don't want it to come back from. And I feel like this person really admires how honest, tr truthful, and trusting you've been in your truth. You've never hid your feelings or who you are from this person, which has given them the ability to be able to step up and choose who they want to be, choose to practice who they say that they are over who they actually are. You know, I can sit here all day and say, yes, I will fight for love or I will do A, B, C, and D. But until you really show up as that person, words don't mean anything. All right, Pisces. I actually think we're going to leave that here because this one is a long one. Yeah, we're going to do that. <laughs> Have a blessed day, guys.